Hello everyone and welcome to ComScience. In today's video, we will learn about functions in JavaScript. The different type of functions, that is, function statement and function expressions. And we will also delve a little bit into function scopes. Keeping JavaScript functions aside, let us figure out what functions are. As far as programming is concerned, functions are that piece of code which takes in an input, ideally uses that input to perform some computation and then gives out an output. As simple as that. The input values, we call them arguments and the output that we get back from the function, we like to call it the return value of that function. In general, a function can have numerous arguments or inputs, but it must always have one return value per path. But hey, that does not stop us from creating compound objects by combining several variables and then returning that in case we want to return more than one value. That is always doable. Function statements in JavaScript. They have the syntax as shown. All function statements start with the keyword function. The stuff that you see inside the parentheses are arguments. And the expression that we see following the return keyword is what will be returned by the function which is num1 multiplied by num2 in this case. So if we run this code in the console of our browser, we will get the output 6 printed onto our console. Let us dig into the phenomenon of hoisting. It is an important behavior to know as far as JavaScript is concerned. What is hoisting? Basically, the declaration of variables and function statements in JavaScript behaves as though it existed at the top of the document. That is, the function func declared and defined here behaves as if it was present above the line where func is called. And thus, when that line of code is executed, we get the I am hoisted console log statement printed out. This is the same for variables. If there was a variable declared anywhere in this file, say var v equal to 10, and if we console log it before that line, you would still not get an error of reference not found. However, if you try to print out the value of that variable before that line, it would print out undefined, as only the declaration gets hoisted and not the definition of the variable. Let us move on to function expressions. What is an expression in general? Any statement that has the format thing1, operator, thing2, as shown here, can be called as an expression in programming terms. The first one is an expression that assigns an RHS to the LHS value. The second one is an evaluator which evaluates the relationship between the RHS and the LHS. The third one evaluates the equality of RHS and the LHS. This is the basic format of an expression. A function expression is just a special expression which has an anonymous function as the RHS. In other words, when the anonymous function statement is used as the RHS in an expression, it becomes a function expression. Usually, it is defined as the var or let keyword followed by the function name, then an equal to sign followed by the function keyword and then the argument parenthesis. Notice the return statement whose behavior is similar to that inside of a function statement. Thus, when the console.log placed below the function expression is executed, we get 10, which is the result printed onto the console. An important point to note is that function expressions are not hoisted. Only the definition is hoisted. Hence, we get the log that the value is equal to undefined when we run the code shown here. We cannot even invoke a function expression before we define it, unlike a function statement, because it has the value undefined at that moment. It is actually not even a function. Thus, we can only call a function expression after its definition. If we do not include a return statement inside of a function, it returns undefined by default. As shown in this piece of code, when we run the log function defined here, we get returned a value undefined as we are not explicitly returning anything from inside of that function. We are just creating a console.log. Time to learn something about IIFE. You might have heard about IIFE 
or iffy in the JavaScript ecosystem a lot. So what is it? If an anonymous function is called as soon as it is defined, it is called an IFE, an immediately invocable function expression. A special property of this is that it is anonymous and hence can only be invoked once right after its definition. IFE plays an important part in preserving namespaces. Libraries are written as IFEs to preserve namespaces. Let us understand how that actually happens. But before that, we need to understand function scopes. Function scopes tell us about what variable we can access and what we cannot. In general, we have access to the variables that are present lower in the function stack, but not higher up. If you do not follow what I mean when I say higher and lower the stack, you might want to subscribe to this channel as we are working on a video that will delve into functions and memory management with stacks and heaps. Coming back to the example on screen, the first console.log prints the var a, that is 10, because the variable defined in global scope is always available inside any function. Whereas the second console.log throws an error because the scope of variable b that was declared inside the function definition is limited to the function. It is not available outside of it. Keep that in mind when we talk about the scoping of variables using IIFE next. So how can we use this phenomenon of function scope to prevent variable name crashes? Well, when we define a library this way as shown on the screen, all of it is inside of a huge function that is immediately invoked. We are limiting the scope of all the variables inside that library to that particular function. Thus, whatever names are used inside IIFE, they can never crash with any other namespace. You didn't see that coming, huh? So that's all about this video folks. We dig into functions in JavaScript, function statements and function expressions, hoisting, return values, function scopes and IIFEs. Well, all of these topics can individually be made into a separate video by themselves and we hope to do that in the future. Please let us know your thoughts about this video and also suggest other topics which you would want to see get covered on our channel. We will definitely do so. Subscribe to this channel to be a part of our attempt to explain many other computer science concepts in an easy way. See you next time. Take care.